Hey y'all, Patrick here, and I'm here today at TGU 2019 at Toman Music, and we're gonna try five different basses that are under $250. Our five basses today are the Harley Benton B550, the Squire Affinity Jazz Bass, the Harley Benton PJ74, Dean Custom Zone, and the Squire Bronco. So this is the Harley Benton PJ74, and right off the bat, I love this finish. Like, it's an aged white of some sort, with this cool turquoise, pit guard, matching headstock too, and it's also, it's got two volume for your P bass, your jazz pickup, and then regular tone as well. And let's try it out. This is just with the P bass pickup. So right off the bat, with just the P bass pickup by itself, this thing sounds extremely full and I love it. So let's try it with the jazz pickup as well. Turn it down a little bit and just get more of that P bass in there. Wow, uh, there's a lot of tone and it feels amazing. That's one of like the biggest things that you can tell with cheaper guitars is most of them just will not feel right. Um, they'll sound, they can sound good, but they won't feel right. But man, this thing feels amazing. All right, now, and moving on, we have the classic Squire Bronco. This one's in black, just maple on maple neck, and it's $150, so you, you gotta love it. It's short scale, only has the one tiny lipstick pickup, and that's it. The rest of it, I love short scales. I have a Bronco myself. This. They're awesome basses. They're so much fun to play. So I really like this bass just because it's straightforward, simple, it's a workhorse. Uh, it has the one lipstick pickup that actually sounds pretty good. Uh, not super beefy, not super full sounding, but that's okay. Uh, then just a simple volume and tone. And um, as you saw, it just really needs new tuners. And other than that, it's a pretty awesome bass. So this here is the Harley Benton HB550. A pretty awesome bass to say the least. Active Electronics got these two soap bar pickups. This is the five string version on it, and let's see how it sounds.
So right here we have our volume. Then you can choose between your neck pickup, both pickups, and then the bridge pickup. Then you have bass and treble as well. So let's go ahead and just do the neck pickup for right now. Let's go to both pickups. Then finally the bridge pickup. This is a pretty wicked bass to say the least. Um, it does have that low five string. I don't know if these strings are just a little dead, uh, if they've been used. I took this one off the showroom floor. Uh, it just not doesn't hit as much. And then, but as well, you have the treble knob to help with that too. Uh, but other than that, this is a pretty badass bass. I bet with distortion, it's gonna sound wicked. This is the Squire Affinity Jazz Bass. This is the cheapest jazz bass that you can get from Squire. Uh, around $209, $203, $250, depending on where you're looking. Uh, it's got the classic, you know, it's the it's a it's a Squire, so it's basically a Fender, right? Uh, but it's got this cool silver sparkle, as well as, you know, two jazz pickups. Do you have your front pickup, back pickup, as well as an overall tone? So let's get into it. <laughs> Then just go straight for the neck pickup only. Then only the bridge pickup. So, I don't like these bases. I don't like the Squire Fenny series because they're cheap and they're way too expensive. The Harley Benton PJ74 is about $100, $150 less and it is incredible. So I don't know why Squire doesn't want to put more features into this. I don't know. It's, they can do better. They can always do better. The Classic Vibe series and the Vintage Modified series are fantastic, but I cannot stand the Affinity series at all. It's just not fair to just put, because it has the Squire logo and the Tiny Fender logo, they want to you know, make people pay more, which is not a good idea, in my opinion. <laughs> So 
So yeah, Square Fanner series. Uh, avoid this one, in my opinion. Wow. This thing is uh, really pink. This is the Dean Custom Zone, and uh, I don't, it's very hot pink, neon pink, and I guess they colored the fretboard too, uh, with the same paint maybe, and then glossed over it. I don't know how long that'll last with like oil, sweat, and everything, and then over time you just destroying the neck, destroying the fretboard, but it's ugly, but I love it for some reason. Simple, just P-based design, volume, tone, and that's it. I do not like the sound of this bass uh, at all. It sounds super thin, super, I don't know, hollow, if that's a word that you would describe for sound for bass. God, it's, it doesn't sound that great to be honest. Avoid this one, uh, in my personal opinion. Color is cool, sounds terrible. Or buy it like secondhand used and put a new pickup in it. Why not? But those were five bases under $250. Let me know which ones y'all thought were the absolute best and what other really cheap bases that you guys really enjoy. But thank you guys so much for watching as always. A huge thanks to the Tomon crew and all the sponsors for uh, hosting TGU 19 this year. Um, it's insane that I get the opportunity to come to Germany and hang out with some of the nicest people I have ever met in my entire life. But let me know which ones are your favorites. If you like this video and want to see more, go ahead and subscribe. And if you want to be like these amazing people here, head over to my Patreon page for things like early access, giveaways, and more. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all next time.